Hi all, I thought I'd take a look at the Marvel Holiday Special from 1993. This is a comic that I read um, over and over back in the day. Um, I was really heavy into um, Marvel Comics specifically. I was into all comics. I, I read a lot of Batman and Superman. Um, but Marvel uh, was getting exciting. Um, the X-Men cartoon had debuted, I think, the uh, the year before this. The Spider-Man cartoon wouldn't debut until the year after this. Um, but uh, Marvel toys were getting bigger and bigger at the toy aisle, and you'll see that in this issue. Um, this is a, a, a nice little special that, that um, they put out. Uh, I don't know if they still do holiday specials. If they do, I ignore them. But um, it's got a lot of fun stories. Um, it's a nice thing to, to, to read through, especially when you're, you're younger and you, you, and you, uh, you pick this up uh, um, to read a whole bunch of different stories with your favorite characters. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the other comic. Around this time, comics were about 125 uh, Canadian. Uh, I'm in Canada, and here it's like um, over three times the 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 price. It's uh, three seventy five Canadian, so um, that's quite a bit. But um, but I, I managed to to buy this back in the day, and uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, so this is a wraparound cover. It's got like all sorts of like '90s uh, standards here. It's got like a. Um, New Warriors and everything. Uh, Ghost Rider is huge at this time. And this is really meant to be seen this way because everyone's coming out of uh, Santa's um, sack. You got uh, Thanos, who's uh, coming off a whole series of uh, Infinity-inspired uh, comics at this time. Um, Punisher, of course, is huge. Samson. Um, Speedball. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, White Vision. All sorts of great stuff here. Let's take a look inside. Uh, there's a whole thing about like Dr. Zeus and Christmas and all sorts of stuff. Um, this comic doesn't have any commercials in it. It's just purely produced by Marvel. Um, Tom DeValco is, is editor-in-chief at this time. The first story is uh, Zounds of Silence by uh, Larry Hama and Michael Golden. Golden. And um, this is, the, I think, the only Wolverine appearance in this entire thing, and they put it up front because Wolverine's white hot right now, um, you know, at this at this point with the X Men cartoon and everything. Uh, so it's Wolverine just fighting a whole bunch of um, things. Um, you'll see what they are later. He's fighting a whole bunch of stuff. This is very '90s, like lots of um, big, broken, like. Uh, in your face panels and everything panels like uh, converging into each other etc and at the end you find out that it's um some kid uh just playing with a bunch of toys in a toy aisle and they show the um wolverine figure which was around at the time so this is sort of a tie-in um and the wolverine figure uh the the um the claws uh, snicked out uh so that's cool you know, and it's kind of a commercial for the toys at the time, which were really, really big. The X-Men toys were big around like 93, 94, 95, around there uh, in the 90s, basically. Um, you'll see another toy tie in later. Uh, so there's a bunch of pinups here. Uh, so this first pinup um, and the pinups are, are strewn throughout the comic. Uh, this first one is uh, Captain Britain and and, uh, and um, it's basically um, Excalibur. Uh, it's It's the characters from that comic all celebrating Christmas and you see like everyone's all over a nightcrawler and he's all like he's got this like super smile on his face it's hilarious I love this uh next is the new warriors um I I tried to get into their comic I didn't like it and this uh story sh sort of shows why so uh that's Night Thrasher um this is Silhouette and uh Night Thrasher is like beating up guys and and talks to Silhouette a bit and you see, I think that's Rage. I can't remember. Um, but, you know, they're all shopping and stuff. And and uh, then there's some love spats going on here with, like, Firestar and stuff. Yeah, not much is happening. Uh, some marriage proposals going on here. Who cares? Namorita is coming to the rest of the team. And this dude who sucks... And he's like, oh, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for saving my butt. You know, Merry Christmas. That's the story. Yeah, I, <laughs> for more examples, please see New Warriors. I thought New Warriors was a very boring um, comic for what it was supposed to be. Um, 
but yeah, this is this is a uh, that's basically their story there. They got that out of the way, man. Uh, here's a pinup with uh, Captain America and some kids using his uh, shield as a toboggan. Uh, and Spider-Man brings the action. So Spider-Man was white hot at this time in the comics. Um, and uh, I guess that's why they were like, well, let's make this into a cartoon. We've got X-Men. Um, so that cartoon would come out November of the year after this, um, November 94. This is, uh, um, holiday season 93. So, um, you got Electro, uh, causing trouble. He's just basically, like, turning the lights off and turning them back on, etc. And, uh, they're at, um, they're in New York, uh, with the, with the big tree there. And, um... You know, Mary Jane's like, why don't you let the cops handle it? And Peter Parker's like, well, no, I, you know, this is a job for Spider-Man if it's a supervillain, right? And he throws his clothes right at Mary Jane and he realizes, oh, crap, you know, Electro will be a, a cinch compared to facing MJ later. Uh, so, <laughs> so, um, he fights Electro. Electro's, uh, doing his thing. He's, like, shooting his, uh, electricity at, at um... And, uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man is using the, uh, these, these balls, uh, the, the big, um, ornaments from the tree. Um, I like the art here. It's pretty cool. Uh, so in the end, um, Electro gets overloaded, uh, by the star from the tree. And then, uh, Spider-Man puts it back there. And I love this little, uh, uh, splash here with these kids enjoying Christmas and everything. And, and the big Spider-Man head coming from um a, a lit up tree with all these beautiful lights etc uh ah. so this story is a punisher story uh, a holiday punisher story um i like this story a lot um i thought it was kind of fun and clever when when i was a kid when i was like maybe 15 16 when i read this um so someone is stealing um like Santa Claus, Salvation Army, they don't show, they show kind of the symbol of the Salvation Army, Army, but they don't really represent the Salvation Army, but, because, you know, it's, it's still a licensed thing, but, um, but someone's stealing, um, um, those, uh, donation pots from Santa Clauses, and so Punisher wants to break that up. Microchip is like, I bet you can't go without, um, like, a. Uh, violence, resorting to violence and punching someone or shooting someone for the next 48 hours, right? And Punisher's like, yeah, I can. And he's like, no, you can't. And he goes, okay, sure. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll bust this, uh, this, this ring, um, without resorting to violence, right? So he dresses up as Santa Claus <laughs> and some dude tries to, uh, rob the Santa Claus and he's welded the, um, like the moorings of the of of the pot um to the ground right so so the guy can't like get um grab onto the pot and and uh and chase off with it so he questions this guy and he's like yeah there's this guy that that hires the um a bunch of kids to go and steal this money for him and he's got this uh this this henchman that loves to punch people in the stomach right you know to to daze them and stuff so Wait, I want to get to that page. These these old pages are like dry and stick together. So um so then uh Punisher as Santa goes and confronts that guy. Guy punches him in the chest and he's like, oh and and uh Punisher has this spiked like armor underneath and that's he didn't throw a punch, but like he did hurt him by the guy trying to punch Punisher and and getting like a um a fistful of like no spikes on his knuckles, right? So, so then Punisher goes in and he's like, uh, and he confronts the main guy and he's like, listen, I, 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 I won't punch you. I won't shoot you. I won't do any of that stuff. And the guy, um, punches Punisher and Punisher just smiles at him. And the guy's like, you really mean it, uh, don't you? So then he starts like attacking him with all sorts of, um, improvised weapons. He, he, he lifts up all sorts of stuff and then, Punisher's like he's running out of liftable weapons. So then the guy resorts to punching him and stuff, but then something's wrong and he falls to the ground and Punisher reveals that he's he's doused himself with um some sort of chemical agent that 
um, upon contact uh, renders you paralyzed, you're, you're okay. You can you can breathe and your heart heartbeat's fine, but you can't move. So then that's how he defeats him and the cops come and everything. And so, like, he tells uh, Microchip, well, what happened? Microchip's like, well, I mean, like, you know, it's still violence. Like, well, I didn't punch anyone and shoot anyone, so I win the bet. And uh, <laughs> and then they're 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 kibitzing with each other. Um, I didn't realize that Microchip was Jewish. Um, so then he um, Punisher wishes him a happy Hanukkah. Uh, the end. That I I like that story. It's cool, man. Uh, if you're gonna do a tell a Punisher Christmas story, I guess that's the best thing you can do. Uh, here's a, a little write up about um, um, holiday and and Christmas. Um, like a Christmas Christmas themed issues of the past in Marvel comics. Um, there's a thing Ghost Rider um, Marvel two in one. I think this is the one where uh, they go back in time to the birth of Christ, and then like I think um, like uh, Ghost Rider. Maybe I'm re remembering this wrong, but Ghost Rider's head is is the star that they're following, <laughs> or something like that. Um, there are a couple She Hulk uh, Christmas themed ones. One of them was uh where they they follow um uh the re what like santa does for the rest of the year um here's a an issue where hulk fights santa that's cool um all sorts of great stuff i have some of these i'll probably dig them out and, and look through them for the holiday season um here's more uh christmas themed uh, hulk stuff there's a lot of christmas themed she hulk issues uh <laughs> here's a pinup um from Darren Uck and, and uh, Steve Montano for uh, the Fantastic Four with a bunch of Impossible Man um, ornaments on their tree. It's probably the real Impossible Man. Uh, here's, uh, I think that's, I don't know if that's Titania or Medusa, but there's um, there's a She-Hulk there as well being represented. Uh, someone got a Spider-Man shield. I don't know. <laughs> Franklin got that. I don't know. Um... Here's a whole story that where uh, Samson uh, tells uh, um, a bunch of kids uh, like um, the story of Christmas, but in in a weird like messed up way, uh, with like Ultron, you know, fighting um, Wolverine, Hulk, and and uh, <laughs> and um, Captain America, and Goliath is involved and all that stuff. Um, the kids keep interrupting um, him, and 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 he he gets mad at them, and then makes them cry. Um, and then he gets kicked out of the school. That's basically the story. It's fun. It's okay. Um, here's, uh, um, Ghost Rider doing his, uh, uh, North Star impression, uh, for the wise men here. Uh, nice little pinup by Ernie Chan. Uh, I love this story too. This is a Thanos Christmas story. This is great. So, uh, Thanos is cleaning up and, and his robots are, are, um, throwing things in the trash and everything. Uh, they bring a doll to his attention, uh, attention, and he's like, oh, it's just simply a doll. And then he remembers when um, Gamora was a little girl, and he gave her um, this doll for, like, Christmas, I guess. Uh, and he's just trying to, um, you know, raise her right at, at some small point in her past. And um, and she's like, oh, I want to go to the lagoon, I want to do, you know, kid stuff. And he's just, like, kind of quiet, and then later on he just says, perhaps, right? So, an alien assassin who whose uh, family was murdered by Thanos um, is stalking the halls and, and, and uh, is about to kill Thanos uh, when suddenly this doll hits his head and messes up his aim and he, he misses Thanos. So, Gamora saves uh, Thanos' life. Thanos then uses this opportunity to fry the guy into cinder. And so here he is, he's all dead and everything. And then um, he's like taken aback. He's like, you? He's like, I know. Um, and he's like, listen, the doll is scorched. I'll have it repaired. And, and she's like, no, 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 it's fine, right? And she she walks away. And then um, he's like, Gamora. And, and she's like, yes, master. It's like, once I've cleaned up the lab, we could go to the lagoon. And then, and then she's like happy about that. So he's remembering all of this. And he's saying, you know what, like, I was too soft on her, that's why she turned on me and everything, you know. <laughs> now she's off with the Infinity Watch and Adam Warlock, you know, she's against me. He throws the doll into the tra trash and orders it be um, incinerated. He's still haunted by these thoughts, 
Um, but then he squelches them down and he crushes this panel as he does it. And he's like, um, that's weakness, you know, like screw that. I'm Thanos, right? Like, you know, like that, that's, I'm above such emotions. Um, this is great. This is Thanos. He squelches down, like he's capable of emotion. That's he's a, a living creature, but, um, he squelches them down cause he thinks it's weakness. Um, I thought this was a pretty cool, uh, story for this. Uh, here's Dazzler. Um, here's another pinup. Uh, I never um, took pinups out of the um, the comic. I know like that was the intent. Uh, I knew that was wrong. <laughs> like if I were to do that, I'd buy another issue just to like you know clip them out and put them on on my my um, the wall of my room, right? Um, here's a, a Blizzard story. So the thing about um, Iron Man's villains is that. I couldn't get into them because they're always different people in the armor every time. So there's no real one person you can really, like, um, uh, get into, right? So, uh, so this poor guy, um, he's out of prison, but he can't get a job. And he's in, in the unemployment office, and, and they're like, we can't find anything for you. He's mad, so he's like, you know what? I'm going to do what I know best. So he digs out his Blizzard outfit, and he goes to uh, Tony Stark's... Uh, uh, holiday party. This was uh, mullet Tony Stark back then. <laughs> uh, he had that in the in the '90s cartoon as well, which came uh, shortly after this comic, uh, probably ni 1994 around there. Um, and uh, so he's at, he has his holiday party, and then um, Blizzard comes, and uh, and he's calling out Iron Man. So Iron Man comes. Who did the art for this? Um, Tom Morgan. That's cool. Uh, I like the look of all this, um, very 90s, very clean art, um, like compared to now, right? Um, you might not think so, but compared to now. And so, uh, so they fight and everything, uh, one point Blizzard in cases, uh, Iron Man nice is like, I, I did it, I, I defeated Iron Man, but Iron Man gets out of it, does a, um, like a flash of light that blinds, um, Blizzard and then takes that opportunity to, to, to punch Blizzard down. Then Blizzard's like, you know, I don't know why I thought I could do this. I couldn't go straight. I couldn't even get a job. I can't do nothing. And um, Iron Man's like, uh, you're looking for a job. Well, why didn't you try here? And he's like, uh, you'd help me after all this? And uh, Iron Man's like, yeah, I mean, like, you know, if you turn against me, then I'll be all over you. But, like, um, you know, we can use some help and, and all that. And he said, like, listen, um, I... I've had pretty good luck giving people a second chance in the past. Uh, like this one villain I used to fight a lot. Maybe you've heard of him called Hawkeye, right? So I like that story. It's pretty cool for the holiday season. Uh, pretty good stuff. There's a pinup with um, Hulk, uh, you know, leaping and looking up and seeing uh, <laughs> Santa Claus uh, silhouette against the moon. That's cool. Uh, here's a sad story. I read this a few times as a kid. Um, like just by itself, uh, this it's a Daredevil story where Daredevil's wrapping up a lamb and he's putting on his Daredevil outfit and he, he goes out into Hell's Kitchen and it's just him contemplating everything that's happened to him. They really put him through the ringer in this era um, and he beats up some bad guys and stuff And but his uh, lamb is broken because of that. So then he goes to uh, the homeless shelter and um and they're all hanging out and stuff and he uh goes into line and he donates his uh his gift and um and the gift is unceremoniously just like put into the rest of the uh like the pile of other gifts um and he sighs uh <laughs> you know i knew there was something bigger going on here and i read this a few times um it's it's really i mean and it's a it's a uh, a nice way to end all this, uh, like there, there is a, I mean, during the holiday season, um, if you work in corporations, you work in, in any sort of, uh, office, um, they do a lot of these, these charities around this time because, um, you know, it, it's a time where, when, um, when a lot of these charities get a lot more donations than they usually do, um, because there are a lot of people that are in need at, at this time of the year. So I thought that was a poignant way to end it. Uh, here's, um, um, a nice little, like, you know, best wishes from 
everyone at Mighty Marvel, uh, Spider-Man was still um, top of the heap in terms of popularity of, uh, of characters. And that is the um, Marvel Holiday Special of 1993. It's a fun little issue. This can't cost that much if you want to pick it up and just uh, read something fun with your favorite superheroes, um, you know, for the holiday season. It really gets you into the holiday spirit. Take care.